Let's see how MacroView DMF365 makes it easy to upload documents to SharePoint from any Windows folder, either individually or in bulk. We've got MacroView DMF Explorer loaded. Here on our desktop, let's select the six documents and drag and drop them to the MacroView sample library. MacroView prompts for metadata in respect of the first document and provides this option so that we can capture the same metadata for all the files that we are uploading. Let's type ahead and select some metadata and click OK. Our six documents are now uploaded to SharePoint. We can click the hide button so that the upload proceeds in the background and we can continue working. The upload is now complete. If we click the modified button, we see our six newly loaded documents at the very top of the list because of the most recently modified. MacroView DMF365 lets us bulk upload documents to SharePoint from any Windows folder, not just the desktop. Here's the Pictures folder in Windows Explorer. Let's select a bunch of documents and drag and drop them to the same MacroView sample library. Again, we are prompted for metadata and again given the option to capture common metadata. And again, we have the option to click hide so that the upload proceeds in the background. Now that the upload is complete, we click the modified column, we see our newly uploaded uh, graphic files. By the way, there is a MacroView DMF option so that you can have the files deleted from their Windows folder automatically once they are uploaded successfully to SharePoint. If you prefer keystrokes rather than drag and drop, MacroView DMF provides the Send to SharePoint Upload option. This displays the MacroView dialog so that you can select your destination area and click Save.